Hey guys, what is going on? Taking a look at however you pronounce that, Xiuxi, that's what I'm going to call her because it's X-U-X-I. I have no idea how to actually pronounce it, but we're taking a look at this timed hero. It's currently in the timed hero place. As second timed hero, first one was Swordsman, and now we have Xiuxi. I'm going to call it X. So first what we're going to do is replace our Boric real quick with... X before we actually well let's give her something so she's not completely dead immediately but before we actually look at her skills and what they're doing we're going to take her out into the open world and just look at the skills their animations and such I actually got her on a live stream I believe my last live stream and kind of went over it then but I figured I want to make a dedicated video for that. Alright, so here we are. We have left the safe zone. Let's take a look at this first one here. It looks like a heart. So this one, this one is just meant to increase your rage, I believe. Let's go here and watch my rage meter. See, I'm not sure if I actually have to get hit or just be around some enemies. Because I didn't really see that I was getting hit. Let's check it out again. Oh, I think I'm absorbing, I think I'm kind of absorbing nearby enemies' rage. We'll get into that exactly when we actually check out the skills. And then the skull, I believe, is just an attack, practically. I believe there are some added effects on it, but this one's more for an attack. And uh, X is very interesting because when you have full rage, you can hit the third skill, and you can transform into what is essentially a different hero. So we're going to check that out. We're going to try and get full rage here in a second. You can also get rage by actually attacking. And yeah, we can also check out her normal attack, which is ranged. Pretty quick ranged attack. Alright, so now we have full rage. And you could see there, for a second, it had a different icon. It doesn't have that anymore. Uh, it just gives you a chance to do it. We can still do it after we hit the third skill. I'm going to show you the third skill now, which is looking like that. And then, after a couple seconds, it'll give us the option... Okay, we don't have full rage anymore. So, let's go ahead and get full rage again. And now we can transform. So here is the new... Here is the new... <laughs> hero. It looks really cool. Uh, also quite ranged, actually. Very big... Very big attacks. And trying to get... Trying to see all of her skills before untransforming. Uh, because it is kind of quick, and there are three completely new skills. So let's let's try and get a full rage again while we do more skills, just so you can see the skills again. And then we're actually going to go over what they're doing. All right, so we have full rage again. Let's go ahead. First skill: nearby enemies, sort of, kind of like a soul sucking sort of stuff. This one's like a ranged push sort of attack, and then this one is like a line of damage. And the normal attack, yeah, we already saw the normal attack. Alright, well that's her six skills there. The third one kind of acts as two skills depending on if you have full rage or not. You can always use it. It does require, I think, 50 rage to activate the normal one. So just this. But now we're going to actually check out what they're doing. So let's go back into a safe zone first. Right, so a random nearby target. And it also has a slowing effect, which is which is really cool. Um, I don't think it's as necessary for a ranged as it would be for a melee, but still slowing effects are really interesting. And then the player's rage will also get increased. But you do have to have an enemy nearby for this to take effect. As you can see, when I tried it the first time, nothing happened. So make sure there is someone nearby before you're going to use it. And it apparently absorbs health as well. Okay, well this one is really interesting. I guess after you activate it, you should run to as many different enemies as possible, or at least the one you're most importantly targeting. And when you touch them, apparently they will explode, and then inflict damage to anyone nearby. So that is really interesting as well. This was the ranged one where she shoots a skull out of her hands, so apparently you don't actually need to touch them, just need to try and make sure the skull touches them. It's a pretty slow firing skull though, if I remember. Um, let's check that out again. Yeah, pretty... Mm, not that slow, but... Slow enough that if you have good reflexes, you could probably avoid it. Let's check that out again. Yeah, it's not very fast. I'm not sure if it auto-targets, or if it just goes straight. Like, depending on where you're facing. Let's, uh, let's look at an enemy here. Just gonna... 
Okay, well it does kinda auto-target, so unless they move out of the way immediately upon seeing it, they probably can't avoid it. Alright, let's check out the last one here. The bad thing about... The bad thing about this is that I can't really see the three from when she's transformed. I can only see these three. I don't know if there's a way to see the other. So yeah, naturally deals damage, and of course, when you're going to have full rage, then you'll transform into this other beast you saw. I don't know exactly what the other skills are doing, because I'm... I don't know. There may be a way to see that, but I can't tell for sure. And also there is a nice stun effect on it. How long that stun lasts, we don't know. Uh, some testing would be needed for that. One thing interesting, it says it levitates them and nearby targets will be knocked down. I'm not sure if that would work on other players unless their parry is broken, but that is a really weird description. Levitates and knocks down. And stuns. So three control effects. If they're able to move after you use that skill, there's something wrong with them. And then the rare skill is just all about siphon. 15% siphon up to a max of 28, so... I don't know exactly how I feel about Siphon in this game. In Taichi Panda 1, Siphon wasn't all that important since it only mattered on your main attack, uh, so on your normal attack. But Siphon here, I think, might mean all skills, all damage you're doing. So Siphon can be much more powerful in uh, Taichi Panda Heroes than it was in Taichi Panda 1. So if that really is the case... I have wings on my Boric, and I'm pretty sure I get health back. We can try that, I mean... It's kind of off topic, but I do kind of want to know that. Wings give like 2% siphon. Higher wings give better siphon. But anyway, yeah, that is X. There seems to be a focus on siphon and control effects, which I think can be very powerful. Again, I want to make sure and see how siphon really is. So we're going to get Boric back here and check that out. I know it's kind of off topic, but... Well, actually not really off topic, since this character does revolve a lot around siphon, that would be important to know. So first of all, we're just going to hit normally. Oh, I would probably need to get damaged first. I'm trying to get hit by this dude here, but can someone hurt me? I need to get hurt so I can test this. Well, we have a rare boss spawning in one minute, so I'm going to go ahead and go for that. And then hopefully that rare boss spawns in a place where I won't one-shot all the monsters so I can get a little bit of damage on me. All right, oh no, this place I think I can one-shot all, all of them also. Okay, finally, it looks like we have a little bit of damage on us. So first we're going to do a normal attack. We got 1,200 HP back. Now we're going to do a special attack. Oh, well we're at full health again, so we, hold on. Alright, well we don't have full health anymore, 60... Okay, well I'm getting attacked now. Hold on, alright, so, going to try. Doesn't look like we got any health back, so... I guess it only works on your normal attack, like how it was in TP1. That's what it seems like, not getting any health back, even though I do have some Siphon. So I'd say Siphon actually still isn't that powerful. Maybe 20% would be though, because even on normal attacks it still is something. And you'll be using your normal attack the most often. But it's also the weakest, because it has no damage multiplier. Well, all in all, X does seem like a very powerful hero. I can imagine all timed heroes are going to be very powerful. It's just a shame that we can't see what the other three skills are doing while X is transformed. Without some testing, all we can really assume is that they're doing damage. Uh, hopefully a lot of damage. But I don't have mine raised enough to really tell. But like I said, I wouldn't recommend really going for the hero unless you're going to spend a lot of diamonds and have plans to spend a lot of diamonds in the future to get her up to a decent tier and eventually perhaps max her out. Because at green base level tier, you're not going to be able to, no matter how cool the hero is, you're not going to be able to do much. I mean, it might work as a main hero to not have it so high tier, because I think the main thing that increases with its tier level is the ability to increase the rare skill, and I think that's the most important thing. So if you're going to have it as a main hero, the tier level isn't as important. It's still important, of course, because they get a lot of uh, bonuses, as you can see here, a lot of attack damage, and some bonus stats as well. So definitely important to tier up your heroes, but I'd say it's a little bit less strict if you're going to have it as your main hero. But I guess that will do it for this video. What are your thoughts on X? Tell me in the comments below. Those of you that have raised it to a, to a decent level and have equipped it with some decent gear, tell me how she is performing, uh, how she's doing. I'm sure a lot of people are interested in that. But yeah, that is going to be all for today. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to drop a like down below. Thanks a lot for watching, and until next time.
everything on board, totally focused on him. My might went down like 10k, but I think it's for the better, because you know, your main hero is the most important by far. There are many things where only your main hero really matters, and his strength. And another thing is, no matter what mode you're in, if your main hero dies, you're dead. So that's just one thing.